so do you pay too much attention to like the uh the Ooh, I'm the down. hurricanes coming through Ow. or not really I'm down. Oh, I'm isn't dead. There like a, isn't there a second one happening already? Three. There's Jose, Jesus. Irma, and then we had Harvey. Yeah. Thank um, you, people. And so wow. I've specifically been paying attention to it because uh, I was on the northern end of Katrina, and it, I mean, it took up my town temporarily, but... Uh, but go. don't worry, everybody. Climate oh, no. change is just a right, conspiracy by the Chinese. <laughs> yes. Chinese probably are responsible for a lot of it. I... For a short period of time, but they're at least trying to make amends. Yeah, they are. Not, they they've actually. But it's not a conspiracy. Is the important yeah. detail. No, it's, it's <laughs> also it is that. a real thing. Mm-hmm. It's but, funny uh, being asked about global about global warming and evolution as a geologist. I'm like, yeah. As it turns out, I think the world's more than eight five thousand years old. So, yeah. yeah built into the whole parts were all the things I studied. Training with the soldiers. It is not, uh, this is barely even get a hit in on them. This area is not designed. Now we're just training with the soldiers, which means beating them up. Oh. I was like, I don't see an enemy. I thought we were okay. here for another one, another one of the bosses or something. For me. I better go sit down. Ah, another Matt Mercer. God damn it. <laughs> More Matt Mercer. He is so just, he is everywhere. Oh, Ooh, that one stings. I think it's I was the actually... the Night of the Mercers. I, I was watching while I was painting If I ever, if I ever, like, meet painting. him, like... <laughs> Are you gonna be mad somehow? No. I, I, I want to mention it because I have so much exposure to his voice. Like, if I ever somehow manage to do like a D and D thing with him, I'm gonna be like, okay, I want every I want every character that you voice as part of this to just be your normal voice. What? Just, oh no! Just indulge me. I'm used to this by no. now. Let's do this. He makes so many. Yeah, I know he's got like different voices. He's got though. wonderful voices, but he always is hired for his voice. His actual <laughs> oh yeah he's always, you mean he's always hired for his normal voice yeah like but every npc he makes a lot of really cool voices yeah outside like of it. his male norn voice for this game is actually on uh you can't tell that it's him um but like every other voice is just him talking normally and i'm like no stop it's just it's just the mercer i don't want the mercer i want the, like different mercer on the bright side, if we ever need voice samples in order to open like a lock open that's closed oh, yeah. by his no, voice, we're then we're set. Yeah, if we ever have to, <laughs> if if we ever have to get his voice sample for prey, we're golden. <laughs> I got so lost during that section of prey. I was just like, wait, why am I doing all this like random stuff and like listening, learning about this lady's life, and then it's like, oh yeah, voice lock. Whoops. <laughs> That was such a cool idea for a quest, partly because it highlights the idea that the entire point of evidence of what behavior, your, your behavior should be in that game is a copy of, of yourself playing back to you, and then the idea that, like, but look how easy it is to fake. This <laughs> so what you're doing as part of the main story. That, that game was kind of a masterpiece. I just really wish Bethesda didn't publish it. I just don't like Bethesda. Yeah. What other games are they responsible for? I mean, Fallout and Skyrim. Uh, or Elder Scrolls. And, and now Doom. Wolfenstein and, and Doom. Quake. And Dishonored and Quake. Yeah, they've got some great IPs under their umbrella. It's just, I hate Bethesda. Yeah. What was that they bad they, Martian they, game that you guys they were They love anti-consumer practices. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're just not a great... They're not a great company to root for. They don't... For they do not have your interests at heart audience like people keep asking me to play fallout again and i'm like i don't think i can at this point like it's a kind of impossible for me to want to fallout 4 is not a mechanically interesting game nope which is the kind mods of the made death it cool, for an but... which is kind of the death for an open world game because like you you comp your experience completely hinges on the mechanics that you're employing being interesting but like the moment you start that game it's just they basically just want you to start wandering around and uh, scavenging buildings, basically, and clearing them of one of three enemy types. And then by the end of the game, you're still doing that. Wait, where are the vanguards And that going? was the experience of playing Fallout 4. 
Yeah, Frost, I think, was kind of the height for that game, which is a mod. Yeah. But it, it turned it into Somebody Metro. had to retroactively add mechanics to the game so that it yeah, was a video game worth playing. Yeah, it made it if you were... just a place to wander around in. It made it so, like, if you were on the surface, you'd start taking radiation damage if you didn't have, like, a... If you didn't have a gas mask and, like, everything could kill you in one shot, but you could kill everything in one shot, so it's like, can I... Can I do this? Uh, will I... Will I get, like, totally killed for this? And I don't know, it just felt really good. The other problem is, every time they'd update any... Either Skyrim or Fallout, it would destroy my entire playthrough. And that oh, I got so sick of that. Oh, you'd be you'd be like mid playthrough, and then it gets updated, and then your playthrough just dies because the yeah. the mod breaks, and that leads to your uh, like save breaking or something. Yeah, uh, all of my all of my mods would break practically weekly because uh, they'd be like, "We've updated the game with what? Uh, localization fixes." Um, but because of version not, version control, it just destroyed the whole game. It's just like, well, yay. We had to correct that spelling, so your playthrough is over now. Yeah, like usually it was just minor stuff, but apparently, mm. um, yeah, apparently their whole creators program has destroyed modding for a lot of people. Like mods just don't work anymore uh, because they. Great changed idea, how... Bethesda. It's not like that's the entire lifeblood of your games having a reason to be played anymore. Yeah. Let's just not embrace that at all and actively sabotage ourselves. I mean, to be fair, no matter how much they kneecap themselves, they somehow manage to keep doing better and better sales-wise all the time. So, clearly people like not good things. So are people just trying to incite war with the char? And that's why... Well, people are racist. That's why they're separatists. Why are people following me? I mean, it's kind of fun playing with, like, a large horde of people. I mean, the primary answer is because Wander streams. Also that, Things yes. Yeah, if it if it weren't for here. me actually having, like, Tensions an audience here, uh, I would be very much alone much in I playing this. You. It's because Wander streams and because Wander's playing a game where everybody in North America can be in that. the same place. I can tell by the boldness of your attack. Yes. Anything well, I mean, even uh, European players can join. They just have to be on the server. I just mean that as opposed to uh, World of Warcraft, where you yeah. have to basically be on the right server. Yeah, yeah you can't. You can't go on another server, can you? Yeah, I you know? can match make cross server, but us, you can't follow us around in the open world, really. At best, we, you'd have to be in the party or something. I think you then. I think being in the party cross server would let you spawn at the same instance. But aside from that, like, there's no way to do this. Like, this is a specific case where the audience could just be like. I see you're there. I'm there now. Yep. And then that's it. It's fun. It is uh, It is really enjoyable doing social events with people occasionally. It's the answer finally arriving to the constant, constant question that happens when you're streaming, which is, hey, can I join? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody really desperately wants to be our third for Destiny 2, and I'm like, no, 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 no. This suspicious rat seems to have been trained to do reconnaissance. <laughs> So not everybody has the ability to fly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, not everybody has the ability to fly, uh, like I do here. And so there's just a pile of corpses on top of a roof. Oh, no. Oh, because they, they decided they all to jump after off. You, like lemmings? Yeah, it's great. If your friends tried to jump off a cliff, oh, I guess they would. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Okay. This is also an unusually random person friendly game because you can all go to the same zone and you'll scale to it. So yeah. everyone can oh, yeah. everyone can join the same party in the same instance despite being on different servers and so on, and you can also play together despite being different levels. So it's the most friendly to the idea of your audience joining you uh, during a stream that I've ever seen, really. 
Yeah, the only other game that would be... Most importantly, they can't, they can't fuck it up. <laughs> it's not like Factorio or something where, like, it, like letting the audience in can, like, just set the whole thing on fire. Yeah, the only other game I think that would be as friendly as this-ish would be, uh... Well, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how friendly, uh, Elder Scrolls Online would be. But... The thing about that one is, you actually have to talk with the quest givers and make decisions and stuff. Yeah. So, it would be friendly in terms of, like, being able to play with anybody. It would be unfriendly in terms of the actual content of the game. It would be very stop-go. I still want to do Perfect World, but I'm worried that the audience will just scream spoilers at us the entire time instead of us I'd... actually solving any of the quests. I don't think we'd have too much to worry about. Holding People tend to be videos. mostly polite, or at least... Uh, my moderators are pretty damn good about shutting down people the moment somebody tries to spoil. Because I've managed to, uh... I've managed to make it all the way th through 115 episodes of Persona 5, and... Uh, apart from my own observations, I have no idea how the game's gonna go. And I'm perfectly happy about that. That was a big thing where, like, I, w I was happy that I, uh... I pre-recorded like dozens of episodes with Andrew of 999 before any of it aired. Because yeah. whenever we question anything, people like, imme their immediate response is to shout out spoilers of things that won't happen for like another 10 hours. Um, it's like, psych, we're still ahead of even that point in our recording, so you still haven't spoiled our playthrough, but also what's wrong with you? <laughs> how do you not understand the basic etiquette of like how that ruins the series if you expose the wrong information to us in this mystery story? It's actually it's 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 interesting how how much the list of reasons can grow sometimes about why a lot of YouTubers don't read comments. Yes, it's like at some uh, point, like not reading comments on some playthroughs is, is like a just a defense mechanism for not ruining the playthrough because like uh, commenters can literally ruin it. Oh, yeah. Like I just like when I was playing Mist and Riven, I just didn't read the comments, and right now I'm not reading the comments to Ocarina of Time because like the audience will act will definitely ruin those playthroughs. <laughs> and defeat the purpose of me even doing a blind playthrough in the first place because it will just cease to be blind when they spoil every element of the game. So were you guys jumping around the rooftops for the vista? Is that what was going on? Oh, uh, I jumped off the vista and landed on the rooftops. So I need to get up to the vista. Uh, you have to approach from the western side. There's a uh... series of ledges that you climb up there. Okay. Yeah. People were not wrong when they said the AI was bad for the summons. Yeah, they get stuck on stuff and they can't figure it out. Not even stuck. Like there's, n they don't have the basic AI that World of Warcraft's uh, like hunter pets do, where they just attack the thing you're fighting. They, like, yeah. I'm engaged in combat. My summons will actually just stand there next to me doing nothing, and I have to like drag. I have to run up to the enemy so they get dragged into like aggro range and actually fight it. Otherwise, they'll just sit out the whole fight. I'm, I'm just like, no, that's not how this is supposed to work, man. Your mm. summons fight things. And I don't think there is a sick the summons on your enemy button. <laughs> which is like the easiest way to fix that problem. And there's also a thing in WoW. Like, I think when you have a hunter pet, you're, there's like, you can just click the auto attack button for your hunter pet. And they'll start fighting your target. I... So I'm on the western side. You honor me. And I'm just met with walls that I can't climb. What's up here? Oh, there's a stairway. Greetings. This is the stairway that you were on. Uh, what? Just mm -hmm. Oh, oh good. Um do any of you guys have the uh the south the middle south uh heart or no? Middle, middle south? south? Yeah, uh, it's it's uh, how to clear a veil, because if you don't have it, you probably want to get down here ASAP. Because there's actually an event. Because oh. this one sucks. Oh yes, yes. This I one, know sucks that one sucks so hard. Um, that was a that was a fast heart. You just have to like go grab the scrap, but like. Uh, Wait, is this vista on top? I just of the finished roof? it in one one wave here. There's yeah, so the, much uh, to protect you. 
I don't I know can't... if they patched it since you last saw it or something like that, but that scrap respawns in like five seconds. It does, so you, but it's painful. Just, so you can just stand still and click on it over and over again and then just turn it into the woman. And it's like, it was actually like weirdly brief. Okay, I'll come over for it. I, I just have... Pets. I just have waves of like... 10 ogres charging me at a time, if not more, and it's just like, let's go stand next to them while swinging hammers around, and it just, it just wrecks people. Uh, actually, on the top, oh, and there's, in fact, multiple. Um, the first, uh, uh, the more prominent one of people actually asking to play with me has been, um, has been my co-op of Di yeah. Dying Light with Bird, where people are like, <laughs> uh, when you guys play this so I can join you, and I'm like, we're done, we've been done. <laughs> This is this is a pre-recorded series. We're done, series. but also people Wait, like God finishing God. objectives off camera is not really good for a series. Well, no, they want to join us for the series. Uh, had another. I don't know. Do you get a whole lot of uh, comments from like new YouTubers or YouTubers that haven't even started yet, being like, "I'm gonna start a channel like this week." Can you? Yeah. There, there's always people that are like, "I haven't even bothered putting in effort yet," but can I get a shout out slash Can we collaborate? And I'm like, I, "Who are you?" Why would I collaborate with you if I don't know who you are and you have no channel to speak of for me to reference to? And why would I give a shout out to somebody I don't know who also doesn't put any work in themselves? I think it's like the definition of entitlement to feel like like I deserve to be given attention I by your audience. Usually they're pretty polite, but I'm just like, how? Do... They're they're polite. It's that because they're trying like that's like their 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 phrase they use on everybody usually like they're not like actively being like, I deserve oh, this, man. how dare you, and stuff like that. But it's still just like, dude, you have not done anything yet. Speaking and of you want a trophy already. Speaking of the phrase that uh, they use on everybody, I got a, I got a view bot, uh, mm. like, service, uh, advertising on, on, like, my videos. And they're like, uh, hey, I noticed your channel is growing, and that's great, but it's not growing fast enough, and if, uh, and... So I I had the same problem, but then I talked to a friend and she was, uh, she's oh, yeah. building her advertising service and I've had that before and um, and I used it. And wow, my channel just exploded! And I look at them; they have four thousand subscribers and cumulatively about three thousand views. And I'm like, you bought yeah. a bot farm. Um, Wait, this is Bloodstone stuff. Yeah, I don't know what this is. But well, hey. Your chat. Well, I know how to make your channel grow faster. We'll Ouch. give it an imaginary audience that doesn't watch your videos. Yes, <laughs> that wait. works. Oh wait, that doesn't make any sense. That's the problem. Like subscriber counts, especially from like bots and stuff, they seem to inflate a channel, but they don't actually help it. Oh yeah. I, uh, Keith, were you were you kind of there when uh, one of Pocket Pack's friends was trying to recruit him for his channel? Um, I and don't the guy. Know. Okay, the guy had been. I barely, like, ever, I barely ever actually knew Pocket Pack. He yeah. Was in like a couple of Gmod sessions, then disappeared. Yeah. Well, he started streaming really aggressively, and we had trouble inviting him because uh, he'd actively talk only to his audience, and it was oh, like, yeah. please stop doing. Um. But uh, then he quit. But so he <laughs> had a friend who was like trying to put together a, a Yogg's cast type thing, you know, like a big group of people, and they're all gonna do Minecraft together. And I was like, okay, I can kind of respect this. And then he's like, should I do it? And I look at his channel, I'm like, no, you shouldn't. This guy's view botting all over the place. Because, like, his videos would have, like, anywhere from 10 to 700 views or more. And it's just like, you do not want... You really don't want that. You can benefit so much from their pretend audience. Who wouldn't want to sign up for that deal? Where are the ogres on this? They're further north by the looks of it. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I just, I'm always bothered by people asking for uh, me to, to advertise brain. their channel on my channel. It's like, I don't By the way, can you, you check man. the uh, connection on your mic? You are actually getting kind of ropey. I've seen my stream go red a few times. Oh, it might just be your internet shitting? Yeah. yeah. My internet's just getting worse lately. It's been great. Hooray. Just in time for us to start doing Guild Wars. <laughs> he. But back to the topic of hur uh, the hurricane. I don't know why oh. we tangented it, but um, oh my god, that was a while yeah. ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> but I know a couple of YouTubers in Miami, and I'm like, you should probably really leave like now, 
or <laughs> soon. I and think airlines like, have actually been providing $99 flights. Uh, some have, some haven't. Delta has been providing $700 flights to... Um, $700? Yeah, to... Uh, what's the... What's the... Atlanta. Yeah, seven hundred dollar flights the next to over? yeah Come on. to Atlanta, which is insane. People could drive <laughs> there. Um, which is you know awful. Um, but JetBlue has been uh doing hundred dollar max flights, which I mean, I think that's reasonable. Still kind of profiteering, but definitely like actually reasonable as opposed to. I don't know, I, I just hate it when people are like, Oh, sweet, an emergency, let's try and make as anyway. much money as possible off of this. And they start doing, like, illegal price gouging and stuff? Yeah, uh, so we had some pretty hefty blizzards going through, um... Uh, some really hefty blizzards going through, uh... Uh, Boston when I lived there. And, uh, the price of just bottled water, oh, it. uh, quintupled. And ultimately, it wasn't even a bad blizzard, but, but uh, people were... We're just buying it regardless, and it was awful. There's a really we weird thing in this game eggs. where where there's a really weird thing in this game where if you uh, double click your if you double click on a piece of equipment, it'll mm -hmm. automatically equip into your second slot instead of replacing your current piece of equipment. Yeah, and it's like I'm trying I'm literally replacing a staff with a staff. No, I don't want to put it in the second slot. Yeah. I noticed that for rings, if I have like a level 20 ring and a level 35 ring, and I want to equip a new level 35 ring into the 20 ring slot, it's gonna take out my other level 35 ring. It's like, no, I have two ring slots, yeah, I want the higher It would be level. nice if it just had the base AI of like, equip best. Did I get that heart? Yes, finally. How do I get to this? This guy. I have two more hearts. They're up over in, by the Field of Ruin, but only over to the east. I have, ooh, just that vista over there. At this point, I'm just doing the Fal uh, the Ogre Wars mission. Or event change. Oh, you guys are right here now. Yeah. We've, like, weirdly reconvened. Well, I'm, uh, oh yeah, you should, you probably want to be here. The rewards for this one are good. Too strong. Oh, okay. Yeah, I already completed the heart and stuff up there, though. Yeah, but it's Ogre Wars. Yeah, Ogre Wars. <laughs> the hot new reality television show. There's <laughs> after Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Ogre Wars gives good shit. I, I hope... I hope, like, kind of MMOs come back i mean they they haven't gone anywhere but like for a while mmos were kind of like the the main thing and i think well, at too this many point of them launch and then fail well yeah and like i hope at some point uh big remember, studios everyone do remembers actually... tabula rasa yeah tabula rasa uh <laughs> the game that lasted less than a year before the servers were taken down <laughs> tabula rasa wild star i actually really wanted to get into tabula rasa because it was also an nc soft game i think and yeah, at the it time it was really I... cool wasn't it their like take of sci-fi they were getting into sci-fi with it i wish there were more sci-fi mmos yeah uh there was also oh shoot i mean there was just there's just only so much audience to deal with for the entire genre, and everybody was trying to hop on the WoW bandwagon because it was the hot new thing. Yeah. I think the other problem is, too, uh, people play MMOs for community, and if you have to uproot your community and go elsewhere, then... None of you will survive. Yeah. There are some people that will follow each other into new games if an old game the, is... The social ties will constantly drag you back to the same game over and over again. Yeah. I just I know hope it's some... so many people that constantly go back to WoW yep. over and over again. And like I have multiple people in the house that I live in that like don't seem to particularly it, the way they talk about WoW doesn't even always sound like they like it anymore, but they just keep constantly do it because they they have a guild and like they'll meet up at BlizzCon together and stuff like that. BlizzCon must be a lot All right, of fun. there's a big ass chest at the back. We should go get that. Yeah, usually these doors don't open unless you complete this. Yep. So Yep, they don't. I always forget about the big ass chest. Big ass chest. Big ass chest. Yay! Despite the fact that I have a uh, massive inventory space at this point, my I'm inventory is to, my yeah. inventory is one hundred percent full. 
I need to find the way to this vista. Oh, you have to jump over a fence and go out and around. Actually, you just jump on this. See here? Whoop. Yeah, you found it. Okay. Oh boy, I have so much stuff. Yeah, it seems you specifically have to get to the, the top of the mountain first, because the other fences you can't jump over. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got this. I have to go this way. Yeah. But, I don't know. I, I'm just hoping some kind of MMO comes out with, like, this event system, but, like, a little bit more uh, team play. I guess really, I if you could mix like, I I don't know. Let's see when Destiny Two comes out. For uh, us, mm -hmm. I've heard good things about Destiny 2's story. I don't know about the end game. I guess I mean, most that won't be an MMO, will it? Or, they, or did they suddenly make it an MMO? Well, I mean, you played you played Destiny One. There was kind of like open worldy stuff that you could play with people. Yeah, but there'd be like six people there. Yeah. And that'd be the entire instance. I think it would be cool if it was still, like, mostly empty, but every once in a while you'd have, like, a world boss show up, and then, like, every ser server in that area would, like, kind of converge, and you'd have, like, 50 people fighting this, like, insane thing. That'd be cool. What I kind of want to see is just more innovations on what mo on what massively multiplayer concepts even are. Mm. Like PUBG. Yeah, sort of. I just I'm so sick of competitive. Like, like if you think if you think about it, the most popular game, possibly the most popular game in the world right now is a 100 player multiplayer match. Yeah, I. Which is technically more massive multiplayer than MMOs usually are in their given actual player experience. Yeah, I I saw your Steam Spy thing last night. and I was like, that is that is nonsense. Yeah, I just you, wish... can, you can see that other two spikes are GTA 5 and Fallout 4, and like just how gargantuan compared to that uh, player unknown. Not only started out at being, like it was immediately bigger than either of those games ever were on Steam, but has actually only gotten bigger. It's been bizarre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw that graph that you had posted, well, shared. That was interesting to see what the most played games on Steam were. Yeah, and the same thing happened with Pokemon Go. It's just that, like, when something comes out that people aren't used to hearing about as as a video game idea, then they're like, "Oh, that! I want that!" We've seen I want so people many to think people of things that gathering. I haven't done before. We people we see people gathering around the apartments or in parking lots, and it's clear they're playing Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, we have a we have a Pokemon Go stop right outside our apartment, and we will frequently see people. I haven't seen them lately, so maybe it changed, but. Oh, they just got bored when they realized Pokemon Go doesn't really have mechanics. No, no. I saw them a couple days ago when we got the mail. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I suppose they're still dedicated. I mean, it's not nearly as popular as it used to be, that's for certain. But it is still very much a thing, from what I know of. Pokemon Go Con. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't look good. Did you watch the compilation video of all the stuff that happened I there? tried. It was painful. <laughs> Wait, what, what compilation of what? They had like they, a... They did a convention for Pokemon Go. Okay. And it was a disaster. Because I guess they didn't test no it discounts. or didn't realize what was going to happen. But basically, yeah, nobody could play it the entire time. Yeah, so they had a bunch was... of people that were like trying to play Pokemon Go and like angrily tapping on their screens being like, why won't it Where work? the entire point was to play Pokemon Go. Like they set up a location uh, that, was a, that was like a big open field. And you're supposed to have like a bunch of... Pokestops and gyms and Pokemon to catch and it was going to be a special event where rare things were going to be around and nobody there could play the game. And they like paid for tickets and a lot of them had traveled like across the world to be there and it's like it's literally oh. like it's the it's a convention thrown for your most diehard fans and you screwed it up so badly that it's like it was already a, a game that was constantly selling. losing its audience and people it was, it was bleeding people off you constantly. Lying. But then, but then you get to get you get you throw an event for your biggest fans ever, and then you completely squander it and just well, do a miserable experience for everyone. Then like that's. Did they you, promise that's, them that's, legendaries or something? Like they were like, gonna have. They're already losing there? everyone off the bottom, and then that's how you help make make sure that you lose people off the top. There's like a class action lawsuit against Niantic last I last I heard. Ooh. Wow. 
Well, I mean, it, I suppose if people wanted to sue for the losses of like plane tickets and who knows what yeah, else. Yeah, that's what it's for. It's like Did no, you... like people, the people had to actually, like, the, like I think they refunded everybody's uh, ticket prices, but it's like that's that wasn't even the beginning of the price for half, for a lot of the people that actually went. Oh though. yeah. Did you hear about the uh, Niantic snafu? Oh, not Niantic. Uh, the Connor Mc, uh, versus uh, the McGregor versus Mayweather hmm. or whatever it was. What's that? Uh, it was a big UFC champion versus a big uh, boxer, and uh, and oh, it the was... fight didn't happen or something. No, it happened. Okay. Um, but you know, a lot of people had to buy into it with um, with they had to buy into it with, you know, like kind of a pay per view subscription thing, like pay twenty thirty bucks to be able to watch it, but their online services actually just couldn't handle it. Oh. Um, <laughs> so like a lot of the people that bought access. Couldn't didn't get to see the thing because it was it was you think they would at least record awful. it so that they could sh they could show the rerun or something to make up for it wouldn't that like I be think someone they, doing I a think they did I think they sent that out but a lot of people not delivering later yeah i think a lot of people were just like not okay with that as this has been like a year of replacing. like just total snafu events happening huh well, it, so it's... So people don't get to see McGregor. People went for to the Pokemon Go event, and it was a total nightmare. And then you have, like, Fire Festival and stuff yeah. like that. Wait, you mean the Burning Man thing? No, oh, that... Fire Festival is the thing where everyone shipped off to an island like, the, the Caribbean oh, or something that, like that. Oh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. And then there just basically wasn't a... There basically just wasn't a festival. Yeah, Keith, I don't and know like if it's everyone... your internet. Your mic might actually be having issues. I don't think Could it's be. my mic because no one's ever talked about it. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a good point. You probably catch that. Could you well, actually send like me your? Like, can you actually send me your audio for this? Because like you sure. are, you are. Yeah, I'm looking at my stream having like red and orange and every bad color happening. 